I have news. A couple of weeks ago, I discovered a huge op shop at the entrance filled with vintage clothing. I was doing an op shop crawl with my cousin. She came up for the Sunday and we we saw this op shop and walked in and it was it was just mind blowing how big it was, how great the prices were and the stock was good. I went up to the counter and asked the sales lady, how long have you been opened? And she said, since October last year. I mean, it's almost been a year and I have not even noticed this op shop right in my own backyard. Well, not literally my backyard. It's 20 minutes from where I live, but I'm always at the entrance. So, you know, sometimes it pays dividends, my friends, to, you know, take a different route. Go for a wander in a different direction than you would normally. Anyway, excuse me, I am quite animated. I'm just so excited that I've discovered a new op shop where hopefully I can film. That's where we're going today. I am though going to ask the sales assistant if it's okay that I film because I am just over the preciousness that I get when I'm filming in an op shop. I don't know why but the people who are running the op shops just get highly offended when they see me filming. It, it kills me. It just kills the spirit of me thrifting. Yeah, I would much prefer ask her and get her permission first so that I can freely go about and show you guys pieces and try things on and see what we can find. I went through it with my cousin quite briefly. I didn't buy anything that day because I had this in mind that I wanted to actually film. So let us go. But first, coffee. <laughs> secure the goods I'm gonna have my coffee and of course my protein bar and I will see you guys there and I've just spoken with the lovely owner and yeah she's given me permission to film today so I have free reign of the store I don't have to hide or try and be discreet I am just so excited to thrift somewhere new and who knows this may even restore my faith in the whole you know charity thrift op shop industry all right let us go Oh, 
So we are back where we started and I'm here to give you guys the try on haul portion of this video. I had so much fun. I really did. I was singing to the old tunes. I was just in heaven going through all that vintage. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below because that is some of the best vintage I have ever seen in the one place at the one time. I don't think ever. I don't think I've ever seen that much gorgeous vintage, but uh, I'm so cut up because none of it was my size. The waist on some of those pants were absolutely tiny. Only olive oil from Popeye, I think, would have been able to fit into those, those tiny, tiny waists of those gorgeous knickerbockers and the tailored pale blue pants and a couple of those skirts and the dresses. I could have easily bought three dresses, but they were either too big or too small. But I thought the colors were great. I thought the, the craftsmanship and the state of the vintage was excellent. The pricing was also quite reasonable when you consider that it's a curated collection of vintage slash pre-loved clothing. You don't have to dig through all the crap, all the Kmart, all the other crap, that fast fashion crap that we see so much of, and it's in such bad shape as well. There's none of that when you go to a, a curated pre-love store like Talking Threads is the name of it. So every Wednesday they bring out new stock and they also do have promotions. You just must come and visit this store if you're ever on the Central Coast because it's just, it's good quality stuff. It is, it's just not that crap. And you can pick yourself up a gorgeous dress or pair of pants or a skirt, a knit, a jacket, a blazer. Did you see that section for curvy girls? I mean, how fantastic is that? I tell you, it was just an utter delight. And I'm so glad I discovered this little gem. And I will definitely be visiting more often. Maybe not filming every time, but I will definitely be popping in to see what other vintage they bring out. And I just want to know where they're finding all this vintage. Let a girl know because I am not seeing pieces like that. And I just think that it's just, oh my God, so special. A lot of those pieces were absolute gems, if you ask me, because that is what I thrift for. I die for vintage. I am a vintage lover. I love an element of vintage in my outfit. I love modernizing it. I love how unique it is. I just love a look that can't be copied. And in this day and age, when you look on Instagram, all you see is everyone dressing the same. What is the appeal in that? I don't know because it does not appeal to me. I want to look modern. I don't want to look trendy. I love vintage because you cannot beat the craftsmanship. The cuts and the, the silhouettes have all come around. You know, everything that is vintage has at one time or another become a trend that everyone is running to, you know, Zara and H&M and you know, even the, the luxury pieces that designers are putting out, it's all inspired by vintage. And yeah, I just had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I really wanted you guys to get a look at the clothing that I was being drawn to. There was so much, there was so much. And even if you're not a vintage lover, there's something for everyone. And I think it's totally worth it. So I spent $40 today and I got three items and I bet you can guess what they were. Of course, of course I picked up this dress. Let me tell you something. I have actually got a dress in my cart from Anthropology that is this exact silhouette except it's white and it's in linen, but it's the same kind of A-line little dress with the pockets, the square neckline, the adjustable straps. And so when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, this is so adorable. I can dress it up or down. I am 100% taking it with me to Hawaii and I'm gonna pair it with these gorgeous free people sandals that I've got and 
the earrings that I picked up and I think it's just going to be adorable. And if I want to dress it up, I can with a little ankle booty or a mule or even a loafer to give it a bit of a man style vibe. I just love it. It was only $15. It's by the brand Posse. It's a size small, 100% cotton, which I am so thrilled about because I'm not going to overheat. And it's made in India. And I just was thrilled. Thrilled beyond words. I couldn't believe that I thrifted a dress, which is literally the same exact dress that I'm going to pick up from Anthropology in a couple of weeks. But I just love it. Love. The other piece that I picked up was the vintage knit top. I just love this color. It is a large, so it's a little big on me, but I know I can make it work because when I see this color, it just makes me so happy. It's such a gorgeous hue, and I love this with denim or indigo. I just think it's so gorgeous. It also complements my skin tone so well and brings out the green in my eyes. The neckline was just high enough for me. If it was any more round, I would have left it. But I loved the half sleeve and the texture that is in this knit. It's just beautiful, beautifully made. There is the vintage tag. And this one was $18. And I know exactly how I want to wear this piece with my little indigo skort that I got from Zara, my lavender loafers and a navy bag. And I, oh my God, this color is just heaven. Isn't it heavenly, this color? Come on. If it was a medium, it would have been perfect. But, you know, I just wasn't going to try it on and then I went and grabbed it, tried it on in the fitting room and thought, I can make this work. I can make this work. So I love that. And this is quite a departure for me because I'm not really one who wears earrings. And when I do, they're quite classic, like a pearl or something gold, real gold or hoops. I don't really stray from that kind of look. but. I love these. These are just gorgeous earrings. I love this. I'm pretty sure they're not vintage. They're probably just fast fashion. Who knows where they're from, but they were $7. And I just think they are absolutely gorgeous with your hair tied up. It's not marble. It's more kind of like a shell, the inside of a shell. That's what I think of. And I love the little gold stud. They were $7. I just thought, grab them. They're just a little pop of something, a little statement earring, a little neutral pop of color. I think they're gonna work with so many outfits. And so, my friends, that completes this Thrift with me. Thank you so much for watching this video and joining me on this little thrift adventure. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. If you are ever on the Central Coast, you must visit that little Talking Threads store. Actually, it's not little. It's quite huge, as you saw. I will have the store's name and address in the description box for you. I am just so glad she allowed me to film in there. It's getting harder and harder to film in the op shops, you guys. It is. And I don't I don't know where op shopping is going to end up. So to film freely and know that you have their support, they know what you're doing, it can get quite intimidating. I get dirty looks, I get people just being rude to me. It's Look, it's not all bad. Not all places are like that. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video, for hanging out with me. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, that is a wrap. And I really hope I see you guys in my next one.